Welcome to Asim Code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about UDB protocol in Java and create client and server. Some application that we write to communicate over the network will not require the reliable point-to-point -point channel provided by TCP. Rather, our application might benefit from a mode of communication that delivers independent package of information whose arrival and order of arrival are not granted. The UDB protocol provides a mode of network communication whereby applications send data of packets called datagrams to one another. A datagram is an independent self-contained message sent over the network whose arrival, arrival time, and content are not guaranteed. So let's see how to write a datagram client and server in Java. I have already imported java.io package and java.net package in our UDB client class. And then I'm going to create a datagram socket. Datagram socket and I will name it client and use a new operator and call datagram socket constructor. Datagram socket. And after this, I'm going to use a inet address class method get by name to get the address of the server and for this, I'm going to use a local host. It's gonna be init address, and I will name it, and I will use init address get by name method, and I will pass in local host where we are going to connect. To which server we are going to connect local host and now now I will create a string our string and I will name it str and it will be hello world and then i will get bytes from this string and save into byte array it's gonna be byte array and i will name it buffer buff so call str method get bytes which is shown as a Array of bytes. And now I'm going to create a datagram packet to send to our server. So it's going to be a datagram packet. And I will name it P and new data from packet and pass in our buffer and buffer length buffer is the data we are sending and to the address to the server where we want to send it and some port number so I'm just gonna go 4160 And now I need to send the packet by calling our client's method send and passing packet. So it's like client, client dot send and passing our packet P. Mm, 
this uh, code can throw IO exception so I need to cache that or just declare over here that throws exception throws IO exception and just need to save it I just fixed the name of my class and UDP client and the file name over here should be the same. And now I'm going to implement the UDP server. UDP server is also quite easy and it just First, we are going to create a telegram socket on the port 4160 and I need to import Java IO and Java.NET package. It's gonna be import Java.IO package and our import Java net package and in our main function I need to declare that it throws or can throws IO section and then in our main function time to create a diagram socket data chrome socket and I will name it server and use a new data from socket constructor call and pass in the port number where our server will be running 4160 and then I'm going to create a byte array also buff like we did in our client it's gonna be byte array buff set to new byte 256 the size of byte array and then I'm going to create a diagram packet so it's gonna be diagram packet and I will name it packet new data from packet and pass in our buff and buff length so we are going to read a data from our client and now I'm going to call our search method receive pass in packet to read the data in that byte buffer so it's gonna be server dot receive and pass in our packet byte array our telegram packet and now I will have a string response and create new string by calling our packet dot get data so we can read in the data and convert into a string and then I'm just gonna print that response system dot out dot print line response data is in our response and just need to save it so that's a simple one 
uh, just a note on the server side we need to declare a telegram socket on the same port which we sent our message to 4160 and wait for a response so over here I need to run my server and then my client I will also close the both the server and a client socket after we are done with it. This is gonna be server dot close and we will do the same for our UDB client. we are done with the client sending the data we can close the socket a client client dot close and run my server and the client I get the message over here on server side response data hello world so this way you can use a telegram socket in uh, Java to keep on learning please subscribe to my youtube channel async code keep supporting me and thank you for watching